Hi, welcome. We are on a different kind of computer. This is a computer that um, I have here at home and it has a touch sensitive screen so uh, you can actually close it with your thumb, thumb like this or your finger. So uh, it's pretty nice but as you can see it's been a while since, since it had been updated like six months or so. So that's great because it's always an uh, one of those rumors, Arch Linux is unstable, etc. etc. You can't have always issues when you update, and if you wait too long to update, everything crashes. All these strange stories that go around and keep going. Around. So, no, um, Arch Linux is safe and is stable and is, of course, cutting edge. So, the last versions are on there, so things might get go wrong for, from time to time, which essentially means a few hours. A few days tops and everything is back in order. It's just a way of um, staying patient and everybody is making uh, amendments. Now, um, if issues, if there are issues, they're most of the time not Arch Linux related, it's AUR. And maybe you've heard already of these letters AUR, Arch User Repository. It means actually it's, it has nothing to do with Arch Linux, it's coming from zips and githubs and all kinds of stuff like Debian and RPM and stuff like that. So that's a completely different world and has nothing to do with the stability or the speed or anything of uh, Arch Linux. Now, updating your system is, um, well, important. That's why I say, take a look at our websites, Arch Linux Hello, there's a link to our websites. And on the websites are the links to all the possible, um, well, forum, and also websites where all the knowledge is. And one of the things I'd like to point out, so we're going to do an update, which means we go and have a look, how does this work, updating on Arco Linux. Lots of tutorials on there, lots of information on there, all about updating. So yes, it's important to stay up to date. Now every month, every month we release a new ISO version. We shouldn't do that, but it's just convenient for us to do, but we're going to release less and less. In the sense that there is an Arch Linux B version and the B version is actually meant for you guys to build it yourself. We shouldn't be building it, you should be building it. So you'll see an Arch Linux ISO, an Arch Linux D ISO and a few Arch Linux B ISOs, but not all of them in the future. Um, what's also interesting is that on each month we have this um, we can follow these blocks here, news, releases. Each month you'll see an article, 193, 19, 191, etc. And on each article we end with a video to explain what's all new, but not just that, what's new, but how to stay rolling, actually. So, how to stay rolling or what changed, that's kind of the topic of every month's video. Which gives you, which which um, leads me to the topic of this video, how to update from a version that's like six months ago and get cracking. So there is one command you should know, and that's the command update. Now the command update, yes, 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 yes. Just always assume that the Arch Linux guys know best. There is an alias and that's called update and that's just for convenience sake but basically you should know this command by heart sudo pacman minus s y y u which is going to update everything from Arch Linux and everything from Arch Linux both repos as I say both catalogs or both uh, well githubs so all these uh, inf all this information is coming in and we await our downloads. Now what's important in these downloads are a few files. Let's go over them. So it's a bunch of stuff, of course, because it's uh, six months ago. And we have stuff that's called Arco Linux. So it starts basically here and it ends here. So this, this is just what we represent. This is our configuration and our uh, settings and, and the look and the theming and all that. This is what makes it beautiful, what makes it nice, what makes it simple to use, which makes our workflow, of course, a personal workflow the way we want to work. 
So that's that, and all the rest is basically Arch Linux. So we take a look at a few of them that are, are super important, like I'm looking for the word Linux here, Linux lip still lip scrolling down so lip is library and we have here the linux i'm almost there linux 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 here it is so 5.0.9 is the version that we are getting these days together with that we have also another file which is quite important that's the system d probably in there as well the question is where so s here is system 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 d so we're getting version 242.0-3 lots of xfce stuff so nothing to do with us but the development from xfce made some changes here so that's great the whisker menu that just is updated and then it closes down and then it reboots with a nice pop-up. We closed the whisker menu. Do you want to reload it? Yes. Fine. And all the rest is, um, well, I'm looking for my work of yesterday. And the work of yesterday is Sardi 9.7.1. We've released a new version of that. 800 plus changes and surfing icons, 1000 plus changes. So a new update of the icons that we're using that we're looking at. So this is still the old look in the sense that this is Sardi Monocolora. So all is grayed out. And last change, we've made a colorful choice. So just to say to people, hey, um, you can also use other uh, icons. Now here we have here the required key. So one of the things that you should uh, Google and Arch Wiki is that it works with keys so sometimes the key cannot be looked up and then you say well prior to all these updating you have to tell get me my keys and it's always a capital letter and anything with Arch Linux is good and it's the keyring we want Arch Linux keyring and it's going to get all these keys that we are missing for in, since six months a lot of keys have changed have been disabled but also have been added so now we can redo it and do an update again and since he knows now what keys are well allowed really because it's about safety all these keys checking package integrity is going on and everything is good he knows now that there are new people, uh, meaning, well, a key means somebody, a developer, that has a key, who renewed it, or who is a new developer, and who is signing the package with that key. Oh, it's there. And we're off. So do remember the, the pseudo pacman minus s arch linux keyring. So everything that has this this key prompt that you'll see in the future, that's your thing to, to launch. There are other um, possible problems with keys, like in if you are using an AUR, you can have also um, possibilities to, to import keys from somebody that's not known. Uh, all these things have been explained on the website most of the time i put them um, if there's something strange like that or something is happening there is this help or fixes you can take a look at both and here we just explain things um, to you uh, if something is going on or something is easily fixed because often it's just a human error thing just to know that it's option a not option b and everything will work fine stuff like that it's all in here fixes let's uh, pause the video here for a while since we are installing all right everything is up to date 
the command there in red is something we saw on other systems as well, so that's okay. Nothing happened to them. And the last thing you do, um, before I forget maybe, um, let's have a look at what this system is. So it's an Lenovo Yoga 510. I uh, don't know if you can see it here somewhere. So product ATVB, here it is, 510, and then even some specifics, probably the keyboard that's behind it. And um, I've looked it up for you guys. This is the thing. You can bend it over to the other side. I'm guessing fine. And it's also touch sensitive. It's great it's a little thing. Snell, um, snell plant means um, to power up fast. You can load it up the battery. Yeah, you can bend it all the way. Not that you do that often. Seventh generation Intel processor, etc. So, no reason to make publicity. That's not the point, but just so you know what we're on. Um, then, Ctrl Alt T, there is something else I need to do. It's PKS YUA. Normally, I would do a sudo reboot because I have a systemd and I have a Linux kernel, but I'm recording. So, when I press this thing, it's actually everything that's left to do now is AOR. So all you have, uh, you'll see, and it's quite a bit. And let's uh, control C this thing, because there is already something I don't want to install at all. I hope, I think, where is it? Umox is something I want to get rid of. And the rest can stay more or less. So, yep, Vivaldi, Excursor, Font, Hello Icons. Umix icon kits. Not sure if this needs to stay. I think it does. Onky Lua Archers. Lips. Ponty Piece. Spite and Pistache. I think it's part of Umox, if I'm not mistaken. So, anything but Umox is for me enough. So, pseudo Pacman minus remove Umox. I don't want that to build because it's an incredibly long build. It's a large build. And I'm not using the software. So in one of our uh, versions, I think it's from March to April, they said Umox is out due to a very, very long build every time you have to make. Now, before I forget, there are things from Arch Linux that are being posted in ETC scale, right? ETC scale, that's one of the most important, most important uh, folders. Control H points you everything that has been changed. That this is the heart and core, the soul of Linux because it has the configuration files. It has also how to stay rolling. I'll have to run these scripts here to come to a version of 19.4. So yes, um, that's all important. So now there are two things you can say. I can, I'm gonna copy paste over. You can melt etc scale with your home directory can make it easy say control say c here and then eric and here control v then we're copy pasting replace all but there is a nice command that we were tired of copy pasting and if you type alias there is this command scale which is going to copy paste everything from etc scale to your home directory so that's interesting now if it's a new system if it's a used system with all your own keys and configuration and so on you better do a control C control V so you have also a copy paste from your original files because these guys will be overwritten and then you take these two guys right mouse click and you do compare and if there are differences he'll say if there are differences new stuff modified stuff like this right that's also explained in other tutorials how to use melt so that's one thing, we've copy pasted all the Arch Linux configurations over on our home directory, meaning we have the latest stuff around. Um, but now we can have this PKS YUA, which is the rest, which is AOR. Umox has been deleted and he can do his job. Let's put him here. Let's go to another. Uh, so we have here different kind of workspaces, so we can actually leave them all big like this, go to another workspace and do our thing. With an alt and I get another wallpaper in, another wallpaper in, so that's variety kicking in. That's the thing, 
down here if you don't want it you can delete it you can make it silent preferences you don't want to start it up yes no and so on it's up to you to see but we need to reboot i think in order to have functions available here but um what i wanted to do oh yeah so we have scripts available yeah you see some some of the icons are already gone we need to reboot but never mind so we have this dot bin there's all fun stuff it's nice fun stuff is also good this is the serious stuff if you want to use all the cores not sure if i have so i'm gonna run use all the cores oops there's two versions so that's interesting to see once once we make changes to a script we give another version number right version 3 and the difference between version 2 and version 3 are some spaces which are not important but also people who have 16 cores there are so some happy people around there that have 16 cores well they are being set this way with this line so that's new that line so basically version 2 can go and now i can run this one i have four cores fine i'm happy with it not really but it's, it's, it's the way it is right we can install the lts kernel and install it and there's a version 3 version 2 version 3 so you know you know the drill delete you can fix amd and here's another fix intel amd i think we um this guy is the newest guy how do i know that that guy is the newest guy well i'm not sure so i'm gonna check amac has its files let's go to repositories to Linux repo this is a file Linux bin files and here is 400 and 410 those are the last one so basically these guys are the old versions and that's deleted as well version 5 version 1 yes so delete version 5 looks more interesting let's run some fun stuff so in the meantime we can run that as well but you have to watch out because this guy is still installing so we'll have for, to wait for that guy until, we'll, until we can run the 700 so that's um, all fun stuff and, and software and, and Samba and network discovery if you need it. And then we go to stay rolling. That's where I wanted to go. Basically, it says if you want to migrate from the version of November to December, you need to do this thing and that thing and that thing. So I'm just going to follow along. But remember, we are still running another script, so it might be blocked. The things we do all right delete all TLP related stuff so that's for battery on the laptop and then stay rolling version 8 So that's good and then we are off to one level up from december to january of course i'm just running all these things just like that you can have an analysis analysis pool analyze ho -ho, analyze these um files by just double clicking it and looking what's inside let's just open this one which is going to open atom that's why it's taking so long sublime text is much faster to load up but then this is much nicer to look at so so it's going to install quantum gt5 quantum team arc article links quantum article links gt5 git fine that's installed and then we move up to this one All right 12 to 1, this is 1 to 2, so we're going to for the February release. 
unable to load database, which means basically don't do everything together, Eric. It means he's working here and we can't do anything because of it. It depends if sometimes you can get in between, like now, when he's doing some jobs, you can uh, get in between applications. So it's still, it has no, no lock at that point in time. And you can do it. And then you have 1923. We're going for March. This is Papyrus icon. The other icon was um, Abandoned Orphan, I think it was. So we are installing Papyrus icon theme from Community. My PC is heating up, it's brewing. Oh yeah, that's why. I suppose it's uh, i3, it's a build of i3 caps. Next, a new one. There may be another Pac-Man instance running, waiting. So, this guy is blocking the other guy. some commands that are strange we'll see when we update later on he's continuing everything you mix I can think it what do we have left this guy we definitely need to reboot and do stuff like this but hey I'm filming Oh, never mind these strange messages. Again, I think it's uh, orphan stuff. And this red thing was to make sure that Umox is gone. And this is the new themes from Nico Hood that we're installing. And not from Horse 3180. Yeah, I think so. And there you are. And next up, we'll have a new folder at some point in time to go from the April version to the May version and from the May version to the June version and so on. So it's you'll see that the changes will become less and less uh, big because well we're going to we are starting to get settled right. So these things were no longer on the way a war it was orphans W A P A action D um, we'll see. It's back in, I believe it is. All these strange things do happen. No, it's not in. So it's still on the AO worm. Anyway, we've tested it, meaning that nobody in our crew, including beta testers, require this. It's on the AUR if you need it. Okay, um, that's that. Let's have a look. So this is finished. We've updated. We stayed rolling. And here we have some unresolved conflicts. Let's rerun it again. See what's left of all this bunch of files. So downgrade font manager takes a little while to build that one. Oh yeah. Sure, we have been deleting uh, the package earlier on. Pyrus icon team, we deleted it. And that's why it says now conflict. So there is no conflict, it's all good. It's it's working. We have Pyrus. So we have here PAMEC, EUR, and all the rest is going to be installed. Just as a way to show you guys, let's go over to Papyrus. We have it, we got it. There is no conflict. There you go, or there you go, that's the best, you know, paper, paper model dark, papyrus light, or dark, close. So there you are, uh, it only takes a few 
minutes. I don't know how long I am re actually recording. We can see it somewhere. 25 minutes and six months of updates is, is done, taken care of. So it's not that difficult. Hide window. There's something I'm gonna check, and that is um, super shift and then return. And super shift return. We have a file system. Just want to check backman dot d um, backman dot d mirror list is now correct. Oops, wrong file. This mirror list, Arconix is correct. Fine, so that's checked as well. So Control T, if you do an update, the correct service will kick in, and the testing repo is not activated here. So basically, guys, um, we're done. I'm just waiting for this this application to run. We can run the fun scripts as well. Um, really can't think of anything else yes um, this icon is gone because of the fact that we are using papyrus so it does not have our beautiful icon so simple properties click on the button use a single panel row here icon here and it will take a while sure because you're doing lots of stuff together building this one and it's going to load all possible icons to your system this is it all possible icons and this is basically what i'd like to have so okay done and your icon is back to what it's supposed to be but of course these guys do not have conkeys and that's uh, specific to arco linux so you'll see some leftovers i mean some gaps arco linux hello is nothing conkeys and is specific from us um If you'd like that fixed, you have to ask on the GitHub of Papyrus. Please could you make a link to it so we have a nice icon when we switch. And otherwise you have to do it manually, like I've just done here as well. All right. Um, let's, oh, I just want to say let's pause, but there you go. We have now an up-to-date system. Fine. Uh, missing a war package, you can go then. Let's see maybe if we put an S behind it. Who's gonna need it? Nobody's gonna need it. Then I'm not gonna need it either. So that's out. And that's one thing, one last thing I always forget to do. Well, basically, it's unimportant, let me stress that again. It's super unimportant what I'm gonna do now. You can open the ETC LSB release and start typing here the version we are currently on, which is 19.04-4.4. Actually, if, I'm, if you're really honest, we're actually already on top two, since all the packages that we are having that we, that we put online is already for version 1905.2 but like i said it's just a number it's important it's just when you do a screenshot then you still know from heart okay this i've, I've touched this computer and it's like six months ago like we just saw today that's the only um, importance for me so that you see how long is it go and should i update so i keep track of it just for myself that's unimportant. <laughs> All right, so let's use my finger again on the screen. Just play around with it. So you see, just touching here, it's it's incredible. Now uh, this touch screen, it all works. It's fine. And I click and then cancel. But it's well, it's up up to you to decide, of course, what you use for hardware. But it's anyway a nice little tool. So there you go. You have another video how to update. It's important how to update and to be able to continue to work. 
Arch Linux is built as a rolling release. It means you just install once and that's it. And then you just keep updating. Don't need another uh, big major update event or anything like it. It's the same with us. So it just keeps rolling. We provide with new packages and new changes and all that. Sometimes Arch Linux forces us to get something out of our systems because it's not working or because it's updated or because it moves from the repos and the repos, repos are these names core extra community multilip and they move to the AOR then we have to do something to keep um, if you want to keep that, that particular package it has to be in the AOR I will have to do some stuff and all that but basically that's how you update your system it's just um, a matter of keeping track what you do two big commands update pksyoa and don't forget scale because scale is going to copy paste everything over everything that's changed in etc scale and all the rest will work like icons and, and stuff that's and um, outside of etc scale then it's just gonna work out of the box and um well that's it have fun with arch linux have fun with arch linux and enjoy your computer system